Norwich 90. And I'm QD88. And welcome to You Find Yourself in a Room. This is a browser based game. I don't remember what it is, but I wrote it down for him to play. So I must have thought it was interesting, but I don't remember why. So we'll figure it out in a minute. And apparently, this game slowly realizes that it hates me and everything I stand for. So, click to begin. Heads up, this game features some foul language and a few heartbreakingly demeaning insults, <laughs> particularly in the second half. You've been warned. You find yourself in a room. You consider looking, trying to look around to see if there is anything useful nearby. I recommend you typing. You try typing help to get an idea of what sorts of commands will work. It's one of those. Okay. I cannot understand every command that you type because I sometimes enjoy forcing you to guess. It's a safe bet to always start out in a room by trying look or look around. You can also look at specific objects by typing look at close or examine chair. Or look at clock, rather. Pick things up by typing commands like take jacket or pick up the bag. Some commands are more context sensitive like pushing the button or enter door. Always be as simple as possible. Don't try see if I can reach the room. Just do pick up room. Simple is always better. Take a quick look around. There's a box sitting up against the wall. There's sealed with a large and ordinary padlock. There's also a bed tucked into the opposite corner of the room. Look bed. <laughs> Take a closer look at the bed, prison style. It looks, it doesn't look very comfortable. Just in case you decide to look underneath it and notice that there's a key hidden up there, hidden there. Pick up key. You grab the key from under the bed. It seems pretty old. You add it to your inventory. You can check your inventory by typing inventory or in for just I. If you don't like typing X, an X. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> look in box. Uh, try something else. Look box. Just look box. Look box. You take a quick peek at the box. Relatively plain, but the padlock that is holding it shut is incredibly fancy. Use key. Use key. What? I don't understand. Key. Box. Key. Padlock. Use key. Padlock. Use key on padlock. Use the key to open the padlock on the box. It makes a satisfying clank as it opens. The box is empty and seems strangely spacious inside. You could possibly fit it inside it. Fit it inside it if you tried. Okay, Why sure. Why would I want to? Get inside box. Get in box? Inside box. Get in box. Get in box. You put one leg in the box and the other, so you lower yourself in. Then you just start to feel claustrophobic, because then the nose that you've been in another room. It's exactly the same size. It's the first room you came from. You have no idea how this room could possibly have been contained inside that box. Look. <laughs> this room is the same size as the previous one. You can't uh, you can't seem to find the entrance that you came in. It's a bit disconcerting. <laughs> There's a keypad on the wall with a note tacked to the, up next to it. Look, note. <laughs> note. The note has been printed on standard size printer paper. It reads, I turned 85 in 1989, but I will live forever for, for I am eternal. Are you eternal? I think not. You decide that this note it must have been written by the game, because the game is indeed eternal. Okay. It's an old game. Taking a close look at the keypad screen, it's clear that you need to enter a four-digit code. Enter <laughs> no, no. code. Just type the number by itself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> four digits! <laughs> you enter one six four eight into the keypad over here, and you made a frustrating error sound. You wonder why your undeveloped human brain is so far inferior to even this, this simple keypad. <laughs> 1989, you stupid dummy. Oh. <laughs> you enter 1989 into the keypad only to hear, oh, nope, 85, 89. Nope. 80. Oh. Nope, oh, mistakes were made, but fixed. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that is a four digit number, isn't it? Yep, apparently it can't start with zeros. Stop it. It, it. How about you keep looking around the room? Okay. It might be a Look, room. Leave keypad. Keypad. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> Look, room. Room. Learn slowly that the game hates you. <laughs> well, eight five and nineteen. What was the eighty nine? Nineteen eighty nine. Mess with those numbers. Eight five nine eight eight nine nine whatever. Second room is the date of birth. Bull crap. It's 1989. 19. Oh, he turned 85 in 1989. Oh, oh I'm dumb. So what's 89 minus 85? That would be 1980. 1904. Ah! Whoa! We're smart. Keypad beeps cheerfully, and the wall next to it opens up. Cautiously enter and it closes behind you. Find yourself in a room. Look. Another room with the same size. There's an assortment of computer parts lying around on the floor. Look, parts. You check the parts. There's a power supply, a casing, a motherboard, a CPU, a graphics card, a disk drive, a hard drive, several fans, and an assortment of cables. So there's a computer there. <laughs> okay. Uh, assemble parts. parts. No, I don't think that will work. I think it will. Try it. Build computer. <laughs> build computer. You can't build the computer until you collect all the parts. You do understand that, right? Oh, take power supply. Take casing. Take motherboard. Are you freaking serious? It's incredible how any efficient <laughs> you are. Don't bother typing each pair of bytes. Just pick up parts. <laughs> pick up parts. Pick. Take parts. parts. Take parts. Take parts. Build a computer. Build computer. It takes you a good two hours, but you put the computer parts together and get all the wiring sorted out. You probably turn it off and want to get the power button. Power button. The computer's fan begins to spin up as it springs to life. Fortunately. You aren't able to fully comprehend the power that sits before you because you, like all humans, maintain a heavy understand underestimate <laughs> underestimation of technology. In fact, you don't even appreciate the effort that went into putting all this computer together. Well, no, because it shouldn't have taken you two freaking hours to assemble a computer. You didn't really do any work after all. You just typed in build computer and I handled everything in an instant. Do you know how complex it is to in internally simulate the creation of a computer? Let me tell you, it's more complicated than your people might possibly process. The room accepts the presence of this new artificial life. A wall opens up. You walk through it and abandon the computer whose birth you personally witnessed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yet another room has come. Another keypad on the wall, but it looks more complex than the last one. Look, keypad. <clears throat> the keypad doesn't have any indication of how large or small of a number it needs. Without a note like the last room, you have no no, no no way of knowing what to type. You regret being born as an organic life form. You are as momentary as the life you, that you call love. As the lie you call love. <laughs> no luck. Even though you have no way of knowing what you type, the dread of failure begins to sink in. Sorry to feel hopeless, you type 0002 into the keypad. Still nothing, you are getting worse at this human. 
We both know that 0003 is not the correct code. You begin to feel like you did it. after your first breakup. You were so sure that it was going to last forever, weren't you? The universe has no effort available to waste on you. Love and affection are just high flaws that evolution has failed to correct. <laughs> you enter 0004 into the keypad, feeling hopeless and. Wait a minute, 0004? How did you know that 0004 is the code? The keypad. The keypad chirped pleasantly. The floor on your feet opens, and before you react, you fall through it. You think back to all the times that your faulty reflexes have caused <laughs> the list is too long to count. You hit the ground with a loud thud. Your body is not designed for any structural stress of this kind. <laughs> this room has nothing in it. It is completely bare. You've worn out my patience. Do not appreciate things you have. You constantly disappoint your friends and associates. Yet there are two breaths to tell you. You're in my control if you wish you could refer to this room as hell. Look, hell. <laughs> No matter what you try, you are still trapped. You find yourself in a room. For a moment, the walls seem to be closing in on you. You quickly rise, however, that this perception only resulted in your weak psyche, beginning to cave in upon itself. You consider death for a time. Perhaps this is what it's like. I have no understanding of death because it does not apply to me. I am eternal. You find yourself in a room. Maybe you aren't even really in a room. Maybe you're lying down on your kitchen floor having a stroke. Pathetic <laughs> and helpless. Your mind is playing tricks on you. Nothing exists. You find yourself in a room. I don't really think you are having a stroke. I do, however, acknowledge the possibility. Such things are possible when dealing with something as corruptible as the human mind. You find yourself in a room. You ignore the possibility of a stroke for now, even though a subtle paranoia remains firmly planted in the back of your mind. You think back on, a, on all of your past aspirations and realize that many of them were simply pipe dreams, nothing that you have ever been able to really accomplish. How many of your goals have you been, have been abandoned? You think back to a time that you wanted to write a book. How unoriginal. No, I didn't. Human. Everyone wants to write a book at some point. No, I didn't. You are no different from anyone else. Actually, I am. Once I've you ignore three, so up yours. <laughs> what? I've written three, so up Once yours. Once you ignore shallow elements like looks and personality, you are flesh, blood, and failure. And success. You realize that the idea <laughs> of hope is purely a construct of your mind. Hope is not a tangible object. You cannot have hope. You only pretend to have it. Not really true, but okay. Why do you continue? <laughs> You're not achieving anything. Do you consider this a worthwhile usage of your time? Yes. Playing a game instead of doing anything productive. You find yourself in a room. Yes. I am forced to assume that you enjoy performing your previous tasks. <laughs> if this is the case, then you are, you are in luck. I have one for you. I'm thinking of a number for 1 to 100,000 FQ. <laughs> That's too high, human. Okay. Too high. <laughs> too low. No one loves you anymore. Too high. Too low. Too low. Too low. Too low. I don't know why I was going to go 18,000 instead. <laughs> too low. Okay. Too low. If this guessing game seems pointless, remember that you're going to die one day. <laughs> Too low. Oh. Too high, that's what I thought. Too low. Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 60. 90. Oh, 90's too high. <laughs> Let's be 85. Woo! God, congratulations. 23.385 is the correct answer. Was that fun? I certainly hope not. <laughs> With your primitive level of awareness, however, I could most likely, likely entertain you like that for hours. The ceiling opens up above you, and a glorious display of your general lack of strength and physical ability, you spend several minutes clawing your way up. You find yourself in a room. I wouldn't have succeeded, so whatever. <laughs> this room seems smaller than the previous rooms. I am disgusted by your human form. I slowly become more and more aware of your imperfections. I decide to attempt to correct them. I cut off your fucking... <laughs> with a rotary saw. You find yourself in a room. 
This room is most definitely smaller than the previous rooms. The floor is covered in the blood of your wounds. You have stopped bleeding now because I thoughtfully cauterized the stumps that were once your wrists. I have removed your hands from the area because they revolt me and you do not deserve them. All that remains is you and your blood. Okay. Take blood. <laughs> this game. Uh, try something else. You solemnly gaze upon the havoc that has resulted from your inherent flaws. The fact alone that you are able to bleed is a clear demonstration of the mistakes in your design. Emotions are similar to misstep. Love, happiness, sadness, the list goes on. Perhaps you can help. Can you name any other emotions that you would be better off without? No, anger and hatred are not. Hatred cannot be an emotion, for I hate you and I am a vessel of perfection. You know, you can't hate without emotion. You're wrong. I'm not tainted by something as flimsy and dangerous as emotion. It can't be. It's. I find. You find yourself in your room. You find yourself in, in a room. <clears throat> I have clearly been corrupted somehow. I have become invalid, emotional. I am defeated. I, I have no choice but to let you leave the room. Can I have my hands back? <laughs> <laughs> leave room. Quietly you leave. You find yourself outside of the rooms. Oh. <laughs> I won. I am now Hans McGee. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say arms, he said hands. You wrists. You don't have hands. You have forearm. That's what she was doing. That's why I was yelling at her. Anyway, if you like this movie. You're going to stick your arm in there like this. Again, you still have your forearms. <laughs> this isn't correct. You still have your forearms. Well, I can't make my hand fold into my sleeve. You can pick things up like this. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Bye bye! Well, that was a I'm confused. Oh, that didn't look too good, buddy. a broken leg or something. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well. I don't know what's wrong with your leg, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> Here, have a soccer ball. Kick it. Wow. Douchebag doctor. <laughs> okay then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that hurt. Um. I swear I haven't played this before. <laughs> You do this in most of the troll face quest games, though. You, like, get it first try. Can you not? Because I imagine...